You guys are getting a little rowdy. <laughs> You're kind of in the crowd, bro. I don't know if I should do something rowdy or if I should just depress you more than that song was. Yeah. <laughs> rowdy, take Hank. us up. Rowdy, take us up. Play Hank. Hank. Well, yeah, I haven't heard that one. Play that one. Hank. <laughs> All right, so so much for depressing you. <laughs> Alright, I wrote this a long time ago on my wife's ironing board in the basement. And I meant it, um, I wanted to write this song about like uh, a bunch of wannabe cowboys out in the parking lot getting drunk, <laughs> puking on their shoes, getting in fights when they should be like inside listening to George Jones and Johnny Cash and dancing. <laughs> Marty Robbins and Bob Wills, all of my heroes basically. Yeah. Yeah. And. Uh, so I started writing this song about that, and then I realized Guy Clark had already written the song, and it was way better than my song. Yeah. So it totally screwed me up, but it was too late, and I wrote the song. So then the song became sort of an indictment of modern-day country music, and uh, it's sort of a positive affirmation of all of my heroes, Marty and Bob and Hank and Buck and Merle. And the funniest part about the story is when I was at the State Fair playing this summer, the State Fair is kind of an interesting gig at the Oregon State Fair because there's like the chainsaw carvers are over there like while you're playing and there's the helicopter tours going overhead and I wasn't in NOM or anything so I don't get freaky about that but it is a little loud and there's a line in there about Buck and Merle and the woman who ran the show who booked me for the gig she goes this is a family crowd you can't say Fucking Merle there. And I was like, what? It took me 10 minutes to figure out what she was talking about. My, the, and the guy who played guitar with me, my, my guitarist in the band, you know, before you became the guitarist in the band, he was like, he's from Finland, you know, and his English isn't his first language. He's like, it was the Hang song. And I was like, what are you talking about, man? And he knew before I did. <laughs> It's a lot about Buck and Merle, and I met Buck Owens and Merle Haggard, two of my other heroes. And I actually did get to go to Bakersfield this summer, and I bought a hat from the guy who sold Buck Owens his hats for the last 40 years. This ain't it, but it looks just like it. And it was pretty cool. He had a picture of him and Buck Owens like the day before Buck Owens died. He was really good friends with Buck. And uh, I spent like 40 minutes sitting there, and he was telling me Buck Owens stories, and I could have sat there all afternoon. The Emporium Westernware store in downtown Bakersfield. If you've ever been to downtown Bakersfield, well, man, downtown's big. There's there's nothing there. It's just you know. So this is called They Barely Know Hank, and I guess uh, well you'll you'll see. <laughs> Well, the wet streets explode with the Friday night crowd. They got places to go for crying out loud. And they got people to see and poison to drink. And their ten gallon hats and their six dollar drinks. Well, it's country dance night. Out on Route 31, off exit 49, near the old truck stop. And it's the same band that played here just last week. And they got acres of songs to kick up our feet. But those kids are getting high and folks getting low. They'll be getting down and you 
Got 